Elementary OS has been on my radar to check out for a while. Looking over its website, it's clearly geared towards desktop users and boy does the UI elements look nice and crisp. So let's get downloading. Righto. We are in the live CD and immediately you are struck with the level of polish there is and also the level of consistency between the various elements. From the panel at the bottom of the screen with its gorgeous icons, to the file browser, to the widgets, everything just looks part of a very refined, completed system, as opposed to a series of individually developed apps, which a Linux distro can sometimes feel like. Now, I don't know about you, but things actually look very, very inspired by Mac OS. The panel at the bottom of the screen really looks exceptional. So Elementary OS uses the Pantheon desktop, which is similar to Cinnamon, but it looks way, way prettier. So I think it's time we get on and install this thing. So the installer doesn't look too wild, just nice and professional and understated. But I am impressed that it picked the correct screen resolution right away. I do need to mention that I ran into a weird issue with the ISO download. It seems like it doesn't download too well. Over HTTP from the Elementary OS website, it was super slow. I had to use the magnet or torrent link to eventually get the file. That's a little unusual. I would expect a distro that's aimed towards desktop users and is inspired by Mac OS to just be available without the need for a separate torrent client. It's just an additional step that doesn't make sense given your target audience. All right, we are finally in the new installed system and believe it or not, it's actually the next day. Now, the first thing I do with these walkthroughs are install a screen recorder if it's not available on the system. On elementary OS, however, this was a challenge. Firstly, by default, the Software Center contains a limited set of apps. You will not initially find the usual suspects, like the GIMP and even LibreOffice. You can install apps via the command line, however, and that's what I eventually resorted to. Now, an update to the OS, an extension called Sideload, offers you the larger list of flat packs, but I had to restart, download around 300 plus app updates before this was enabled. The entire process did remind me of Windows and Mac OS, which might be what they were aiming for. Moving on, the number of installed apps that come with the system is relatively small, but I do like how the menu is set up. The icons as usual are beautiful and crisp. There's no categories, but things are named in a way that makes sense. Music, photos, files, camera, it's all very simple and easy. The widgets for date, Wi-Fi, and so on are really nice, easy to understand, and they do their job well. Okay, let's check out the system settings. It is also nicely laid out and easy to understand. There are some obvious nods towards Mac OS, but that's not a bad thing in my book. There are a few really nice wallpapers that come with elementary OS, I would say. It is a case of less is more with this distro. They seem to have made a conscious decision to reduce the settings and adjustments that you have access to. There's a notable lack of theming, like completely missing. There is, however, dark mode and a few adjustments that can be done to the panel, the highlight color and so on. This theme of less is more is also obvious in the file browser. It looks beautiful and has some very common sense defaults set but you can't really change much about it. All applications that come installed have this little settings icon that lets you modify a few things, but not much. Elementary OS is a beautifully refined and polished Linux distro. It's so polished, in fact, that it at times does not even feel like Linux. If you want a desktop experience like Mac OS that's not Mac OS, then it is really, really close to perfect. I would probably give it a 10 out of 10 for its UI, but it removes and limits just a bit too many components for me to recommend it to someone wanting to get the full Linux experience. Okay guys, this ended up being a lot shorter video than I expected, but hopefully it was enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more Linux content. Until next time.